Josh Allen. Um, so, um, when you start looking at Josh Allen's development, you start looking at the development of the offense as a whole. You got three games left before the end of the season. At what point do you give Allen the keys to the car? If you want to see two guys eating in a car, click that subscribe button. Here you go. I think. Call your own protections. Call, you know, here's some audibles to move to. Here's some route adjustments you can call to. When do you just give them the keys to the car and say, all right, bro, it's, this is on you now. I think that should have been done day one, unfortunately. Really? I think that's... I'm of the philosophy that dump everything you can on the kid, because mm -hmm. then you know what he's good, what he, what can he, what he, can, what can he retain, what is he good at, what is he comfortable with, what's going on, and we, because if he would have had 16 or 20 weeks to work on, all right, this is a read route, this is a read route, this is a read, route. and then if you dump it on the last three games, hey, oh, I get to call it read route now. Why weren't we calling this before? Or so, I just think from a developmental standpoint, you know, it's it's easier to take the training wheels off and let them crash a few times than to have them yell at you because after three weeks, he'll yell at you to not take the training wheels off. I mean, if you dumped everything on Allen day one, then a dump is exactly what you would have gotten. I don't think so. I that's on the, This is revisionist history. The Bills had three starting quarterbacks in training camp. He had a Allen wasn't the starter at the beginning of the season. So a, how can you say that you're going to put everything on him? They didn't put everything on Nate Peterman. They what's put to say in, they didn't? Well, they didn't put everything in AJ McCarron. They didn't put everything on Nate Peterman. They didn't put everything on Josh Allen because they didn't know what they they didn't they hadn't made up their mind yet. They were still determining whether they wanted to win this year or not. That falls on the coach. I agree, but. I understand why Allen didn't have everything put on him because the Bills hadn't even committed to Allen at the beginning of the season. Get a 37 wonder like You know, you can... I you said, love that wonder I haven't said wonder in 75 episodes. Listen, listen Frank Gore that. got the only negative score recorded in wonder history, and he just passed Ladanian Tomlinson for the fifth highest yard uh, from scrimmage in NFL history. There's exceptions to rules, man. He tied Jamarcus Russell on the Wonder Lake. I think what, the, what happens is when you dump everything on him, then he knows where the bar is set. He knows what he has to retain, okay? It's almost like if you're walking, if you're walking home, if someone's, you're walking home from somewhere, and the person that you're walking with doesn't tell you how far your house is, all right? And then you walk like three or four blocks, you're like, are we there? It's like, no, not yet. When am I going to get there? Are we there? Three more blocks. Are we there? Nope. Dude, if you tell me it's 25 blocks, I know where I have to get to. I know what I need to know, what I need to learn. I need to know, okay, these are all the read routes we're going to have in certain packages. These are all the protection calls that your offensive line is going to do. Even though he may know that, he's not making the line calls. Listen, I see something that my line doesn't. I need to make the call. Now, in your theory, he doesn't have that on his plate right now. If a line's making a call that he doesn't agree with, then you know, then he's he's just going to start running or stare down one receiver. That's what we have right now. So that that so that's that's solidifying my point. You didn't give him the option to do that nope. or to change it or to do anything else because you're saying Groy's making all the line calls. You make the coverage calls. We're not going to have any reroutes, or we are going to have reroutes and they're missing them. I just don't understand how I would that's why I said I would dump everything in his lap kid this is what we need from you that's one thing that we don't know is are the receivers that's adjusting the routes point. yeah that's the great I mean it's a lot of things we don't know we'll see stuff it's and the easy thing to is, criticize Allen it really is it's easy to criticize criticize the kid that has the ball in his hand for most of the game. It is. Yeah. But we, we don't know what the receivers are being successful at and what they're not. I mean, we can guess. We can I go can, back and look at film and say this is what they should have done, but we don't. I can tell, I can tell you Allen's not making line calls. You know why? I have, I have never seen him walk up to the nope. line and identify the mic. Never. 
Never. Not once. Not once has he come up and said, 54! Nope. You see, the, you see the center and guards talking the whole game. Oh, that's yeah. It. Oh, yeah. That's it. And the thing is, what you start to see is because teams start to pick up on that and say, hey, Allen's not making the line calls. Allen's not making line calls. So then right before the snap, you start to see these guys shift and do all this other stuff, yeah. which is probably why the line is as bad or is doing stuff as bad. If Allen could pick up something to say, hey, well, okay, he's going to come, or they, they, they slip protection to the left. He's coming. Now my wide receiver doesn't know to run hot. So you're saying that the line might be playing at the level that it is because Allen doesn't have the responsibilities of a starting quarterback in the NFL. That could be an option. That's what I'm saying. It could be an option, the fact that you didn't give this kid control of the offense. You're having him drive the car, but you're not letting him hit the gas pedal. I suppose whose fault is that then? Is that on Dable who said, listen, we can't do this? Or is that on... Uh, the offensive staff as a whole is that on McDermott is that on Bean Who's, whose call is that I have a feeling that if Dable gave Allen the keys to the car from day one by now Allen would be smarter than him and know more about the offense oh man you really hate Brian Dable <laughs> I do. really hate Brian no, but, Dable the, seriously oh wait you can't do that yet why I, well, I'll adjust to that don't worry about it because he's still needed you know what I mean? If Allen picked up everything the way he was supposed to pick it up and understands it and knows what to do, and you see during the course of the game that Allen's changing 45% of the plays and the Bills are successful, what's the need for Dable? I will I'm say, just saying. I'm I will just say that Allen not being able to make adjustments at the line Hurts. is one of the reasons why the run game is so bad. The run game and the continuity of the line. It's, that, that is a determining factor. Um, that without Allen being in full control, you're not going to see this this offense be able to do what it should be able to do on paper. Like you really did as a Bills fan walking into 2019, you know, walk, walking into 2018 and into 2019, you really expected this team to be good at running the football. That's what you just you just assumed that the Bills were going to run the football. You looked at the wide have, receiver yeah. depth. You looked at they didn't really make any changes at the wide receiver position coming into 2018. So your whole thought process is. They're going to be strong on the run. They're going to be strong on the run, and they're not. we got to run the ball because we can't just throw it all the time. Ran a lot of four and five wide receiver sets today. We did because they want to get guys out of the box. Yep. Just in case if Allen had to run. Now, instead of adjusting the line protections or giving Allen a clue on how to set line protections, he doesn't have that ability. So what you do to circumvent the line you give a, you take a guy out. Yeah. You take a wide receiver out. You go four or five wide to get those guys out of the box to try to help your line. Mm -hmm. Don't don't make it on Allen to, to communicate that to the line to do a, a slide right or slide left or shift protections or anything like that. You just say, oh, we'll just take a guy out of the box for you. So you're saying Dable is hurting Allen's development by kind of putting a band-aid over this offense. That's what I, that's what I hear you saying. So you're so that's what I hear you saying. Why do I, I feel like I, I'm on the witness stand? And you're I just, I just want to understand what your perspective is because... My perspective is that he is not bestowing all the information that Allen needs to know for this offense. He's doing it little by little, week by week, little by little, to keep himself employed. Allen rushing um, outside of design runs so often um, tell me that either the receivers are really the problem because... The times that he's running, he does have enough time, right? The time, more often than not, he has enough time to get a pass off, right? So either the receivers are the problem or um, he's just, he's really struggling to get off his reads, you know? Like he does, he only reads one side of the field. When he takes that snap, he's one, whatever side he's on, that's the side he's going to be on for that play. He does not work and scan the field. Okay. And, you know, he came from a pro-style system. So, again, he should be able to take on more than I think what he's doing right now. He came from pro-style. So this is all something. He, All these things, a lot of them should already be. They shouldn't be foreign concepts to him, right? So I, I want you to explain to me and explain to our viewers the reason why pro-style quarterbacks are more coveted in the NFL than spread quarterbacks. Because if you go back and you look at all the top-drafted quarterbacks – in the last 10 years, of over 50% of them have been from a pro-style system versus a spread system. 
Russell Wilson's a perfect example. Russell Wilson was in a spread system in college. He knew that at his height and at his skill level, being a spread quarterback, he'd never get drafted. So he went to a college that ran a pro-style system, got drafted in the third round. So why is pro-style more important from a draft stock standpoint than a spread quarterback? Because you have more than one read. Yeah. That's the, the, the number one glaring thing is that you have more than one read. If you're in a pro-style versus spread offense, Spread, you have one read now. Okay, one read. He's not there. Throw, throw it or, or run. That's what, that's what spread does. Watch any game in the Big 12. That's what they are. They're spread offenses. That's why a lot of those guys that come to the pros, they don't fare so well out of the gate unless they're able to adjust. Quarterbacks and wide receivers. True. Because the wide receivers don't make adjustments at all. No. They run the route that they're supposed to run, and that's it. No. So if you have a guy that has a pro-style offense, that runs a pro-style offense, they're running – they got two, three, four reads sometimes. Two, three reads and a check down. Okay. And they're doing that every day. They're doing it every day. They're not just saying – you know, spread – a spread quarterback comes up to the line. He says, "Okay, I got one high safety. I'm throwing to him. If he's not there, I'm running it." Okay. Pro style comes up and says, "Oh, they got two high safeties. It could be a cover two. It could be man under. Uh, they could shift it to a cover three or cover one quarter. And then if they, if they have four, they got quarter quarter half. I don't know what they have. Okay. And I'm not going to look at the linebackers. Let me set my protections here. Let me do all this other stuff. All right. I'm going to shift the line this way. The blitz is coming. He's running hot. All this other stuff that a pro style offense has to do." And they do it repeatedly. That's why they're more coveted because when they come into the pros, that's what they're going to have to do. But now they just don't have two or three reads. They have four, so, five, and a checklist. So of everything that you just gave, how many of those things is Allen doing? None of them. Yeah. He's just started doing uh, – they just started giving him two plays. And he's killing the first one every once in a while. Yeah. That's it. Alert, alert, just lets everybody know, okay, he might be coming. So be sure, be, be alert of that. Okay, he may, that's that's one of the things Alan might be doing. He's coming up the line, he's hearing the lineman call, and he's seeing something different. He's going, alert, alert. And then those, you ever see when he says alert, the linemen pick up their head again and start doing this. It's, and then the wide receivers start turning their heads back and forth to each other. And so while they're starting to put those things on his plate little by little, I say they should have dumped everything on him right away. Now, to your point, what you said right before it is you're starting to put the blame on Allen one read now. You yeah. said he's in a pro-style offense, but yet he's treating it like a spread. Yeah, 100%. That's, okay. that's Allen. The reason that he doesn't have those responsibilities is because... He can't he, right now? I, I don't think that that was a strength of him, his in college. He, yeah, he was in a pro-style system. That, that doesn't mean that he had the responsibilities of a pro-style quarterback. So just because he was in the system doesn't mean that he's got that system. So you're saying they haven't given it to him because he can't do it? Yeah. I don't, I don't think... How's he going to get better at doing it? You give it to him. What do you got to lose the last four games in a year? Dump it all on his plate. Hey, let's see if you can do it. No. Nope. So now we know what to work on in the offseason. No way. Come no on. way. No way. This organization wants to develop him and... The scare huh. tactics of like we give you everything all at once. How is it scary? It's what do you mean? How is it? He's scary? gonna have to learn it eventually. Well, yeah, he's gonna have to learn it eventually. But let me put it to you this way, okay? Would you rather learn how to drive a car in an off-road rally, or would you rather learn to drive a car in the parking lot of of a church? Hey. Like, would you, you're gonna learn in the parking lot of a church, dude? If, and if you're in Buffalo, you're gonna learn doing donuts in a parking lots of that same church, and that's how you learn to drive in the snow, dude. At four and line, at four and nine, they're they're at Ranceville Speedway doing a demolition derby right now. Okay, <laughs> it doesn't matter what kind of car you crash at this point. You're not crashing a Corvette right now. Have you seen this team? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a You're good driving point. a '73 Duster, man. Let it hit. <laughs> let the kid hit a couple sides. <laughs> We can be we, on opposite sides. I'm fine with it. We this. are on opposite sides of this because it, I go back to what I saw from Allen in college. And again, the red flags that the scouts were concerned about was that he was raw. So what does raw mean? Raw means that he's not fulfilling the duties of the quarterback position that he's supposed to in the system that he is in. And that is precisely what he was. He's a big talent, smart kid, but he wasn't doing these things in college. Why would he be able to do it at the professional level? Like, honestly... That's you can't coaching. Expect it. Dude, he had three targets to wide receivers today. Three. Who do you blame that to? I I put that on Allen. You're you, telling me that in his nine rushes, the check down wasn't open on any of them. I didn't even see a check down. They, there were. Where? On the opposite side of the field that he wasn't looking at. 
Honestly, he gets out on of one side of the field. If that running back leaks out to the side of the field that he's not looking at when he starts, it's over. The running back can just go, go grab some water. You can't tell go, me go that. Go grab he, a sip of Gatorade. You can't tell me that he was I running for his down. life, trying to survive in that pocket, and he just was like, no, I'm not going to check it down to him. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't even He's see trying it. to get out of the way of the defenders coming at him. Oh, my God. Didn't even see it. We're going to fight. I would we love. They really are going to fight. I, <laughs> it is your responsibility as a coordinator to put him in successful plays, so he's not running. Yeah. Okay. So don't you think you make the check down more obvious to him then? Well, why don't you put it on the? Why don't you put the check down on the right side every time? Put the check down on the right side. You he never, always rolls that way anyway. You ever notice that? He does only roll right. When when have you seen him roll left? Out of all his runs. Roll. He rolls left sometimes. Sometimes. He has escaped sometimes. Yeah. So but what does often, that tell you? But oftentimes... When the he left runs, side like, is a sieve. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is. But oftentimes he steps up and then he he really often doesn't take the left side. He drops back. Okay? He scans the field for his read. Yep. All right? Then when it's not there, he will glance at the rush for like a half a second to see where the hole is. Then go to the hole. Then he's looking up again and then he'll run. So the, the wide receivers have had two opportunities to get open mm -hmm. and they're not open. So you're saying that this kid is not throwing the ball to the wide receiver, who is not open, running again, they're still not open, and it's his fault he's running for 25 yards. The check down's open, dude. It's wide open. I I would put all... You know dude, what you're getting? All. I would... I, you know what you're getting for Christmas? Cole? No. A Trent Edwards highlight. <laughs> I'm telling you, on, out of his nine rushes, I would I would wager a bet that on five of them, the check down is standing there with a thumb. This kid's just all, this ass. kid's always 50% to you, isn't he? Oh, well. 50%. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to say all nine rushes were by play design. I'm not going to say all nine no. rushes, he missed no. the guy that was open. I'm saying that he ran, the, he ran the ball nine times because either he missed the guy, guy wasn't open, Line line was awful, or the scheme is bad. Okay, you're saying that all three of these things are his fault. The lineman, mm -hmm. the wide receiver, and the scheme are all his fault because he doesn't have the ability to change the play. I don't think changing the play makes a difference. Here. Okay, his out of his three targets today, I think all three of them were design screens to the to the running backs. Why don't they you, should why throw the screen get, away. The screen is awful. Oh, the screen doesn't work. Yeah, no, I agree. The screen so that means the work. check down well, too, because it's almost the same, right? No, not even close. Not even close. Because he has never thrown the ball to the check down. So teams don't even bother. Running back's out on the leak and it's not a screen pass. They don't care. Just off you go. Don't worry about it. That's, that's Dable's fault again. How is that Dable's fault? He should see that in the film that no one ever covers the check down so and Allen. call a check down. So should Allen. So should Barkley. So should Cully. So should your quality control team. This is. You know why I'm blaming Dable? You know why I'm Allen. blaming, blaming Dable? I would love to know why. He coached in New England. The king of check downs lives there. <laughs> That's true. Did Did you see the uh, James White mic'd up video that the NFL released this week? Mm -mm. James White runs a play action. Brady, as he's running by, yelled, says to him, check down. Changes the play as it happens. Play actions to White sees the coverage just on the play action. As soon as he turns, he turns, hands, he goes check down. White circles in, sits in the zone, check down, eight yard game. White has like four games this year with eight or more catches. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I think he's done it before. I'm saying that your best friend as a quarterback he's is a the outlet. End. Is the outlet. Your tight end, which is which is often your tight end, right? But it's your it's your it's your outlet. It's when the pressure's there, you need to release that pressure. You throw it to the safety valve. You get it to you get it to your running back. Have, you get it to your tight we end. We have Charles. He hasn't played enough to even. My save. hands are made out of clay, and we have Marcus Blitz Pickup Murphy. Marcus Dormat Murphy. He just gets run over in pass protection. He just gets run over in pass protection. But you and I are absolutely on opposite sides of this, dude. I completely, I, I understand your perspective, but I, I do not see it the same way as you. Can you guys help us settle this, please?